The full-size rear-drive sedan would appear to be a dying breed. Even Ford and GM have given up on this once proud American tradition, relegating their full-size offerings to front-wheel drive platforms. This leaves the Chrysler 300 and its stable mate the U standing as the last bastion of the post-war American dream. Fortunately, the biggest Chrysler isn't just a symbol. It is also a very fun car. This isn't to say it is perfect. After all, there are some very good reasons that full-size V8 sedans are going the way of the polar bear. But the Chrysler 300, particularly in its V8 form, makes a case that, certain impracticalities aside, owning a massive, hemi-powered yacht isn't just worth it, U2026 but a matter of life and death. During my week with the car I got an ominous text from a friend that she needed a ride to the hospital, running to the car, and just barely resisting the urge to do a melodramatic Dukes of Hazard style hood slide I activated both of the car's sport modes and took off. Fortunately, my Chrysler 300C press demonstrator was equipped with the optional 363 horsepower. 5. 7 liter Hemi V8 the perfect engine for mounting a daring rescue mission. With the transmission in sport mode, the throttle response is tightened and shift times on the excellent 8-speed transmission are dropped from 400 milliseconds to 250 milliseconds, so quick they are almost unnoticed. Putting the skinny pedal to the floor sends the 300 forward on a wave of torque. 394 of them to be precise. Accompanied by a pleasant growl from the engine room. Still, American car companies have known how to cram big V8s into big cars for a long time. Where the 2015 Chrysler 300 stands out is its handling. After exiting the freeway and entering a series of twisty roads, I was impressed to find that, while not exactly sports sedan taught, the big 300 was planted, competent, and even eager. In sport mode, the normally light steering is tightened up, though heavy or light. It remains fairly numb, and the suspension settings become more aggressive. The result is a bit like a heavyweight boxer who has been studying up on his footwork. Once I screeched to a halt in front of my friend's place, the 300 was ready to switch personalities. While speed may have been